Der Nordwind weht. War das Kapitel 5 von Episode 5 abgeschlossen? War es das? Geht jetzt alles einen geregelten Gang weiter? Vor allem, wo, wo war Toad und so? Woodland Wuchsus Apartment, ein paar Tage, einen Tag später. Ja, jetzt können wir endlich mal in Ruhe ausschlafen. Sommen wir gerade? Oh, hi. Sheriff Bigby. Great, great to see you. I don't know if you remember me. I know who you are, Flycatcher. You've worked at the Woodlands for how many years now? <laughs> I think I've lost count. Are you gonna come see the truck off? We're leaving for the farm in a few. Thought you might want to. Well, I don't know. I'll be down in a minute. Okay. Great. Will ich zur Farm? This fucking line. Oh, uh, Mr. Wolf, Flycatcher left his keys. Right. Thanks. I'm, I'm sorry, Sheriff. I have to take care of this. We'll talk later, okay? Good morning, Miss White. You're late. Someone's gonna see you, Colin. <laughs> Wir sollten sie auf jeden Fall mal ein, zwei neue Angestellte dazu holen. Für diese Aufgabe, weil das wird alles uns äh, Snow White über den Kopf steigen. Denn natürlich, jetzt ist das ganze Chaos beendet, aber jetzt will auch erstmal jeder etwas. Vor allem der Metzger, ist klar. Und vor allem, was ist mit Pudding and Pie? Wird das irgendjemand übernehmen? Wird daraus ein anderes Geschäft? Wird man überhaupt nach dem Grund suchen, warum der tot ist? Oh nein, nicht tot. Nein, nicht tot zu der Farm. Warum müssen die jetzt weg? Shit! Just go grab that, would you? How are you, uh, holding up? I know this isn't ideal for you. Just why the hell did she have to send me and me boy away, huh? You promised me I'll get another chance. But Miss White said I had to go up to the damn farm anyway. I told her I had the money, but she didn't want to hear it. Wait, Sheriff Bigby! I have something. <laughs> you know, he was up crying all night, poor kid. Can you give this to Miss White, please? Dad says there's no time to say goodbye, so... If you could bring it to her, she was nice. Yeah, sure. I couldn't take them all with me, and she said she liked that one the best. It's a willow beetle. That's a big one. They're cool, because when they're little, they have these pouches that squirt juice at you if you touch them. <laughs> I'm sure she'll love it. She said it was pretty. We're about ready to head out. What's it like at the farm? I've heard ogres live there, and, and they eat people in their sleep sometimes. God, I hope not. Do we have to go? I want to stay here. Well, we don't have a choice anymore. <laughs> don't worry. You'll be a lot safer there. There's plenty of space to run around. Uh, and a nice river nearby, so you can swim all you want. Even in daytime? Yeah. 
You don't have to worry about the money seeing you. It'll be nice. <laughs> Come on. It won't be so bad. Have you been there before? No. I'm, uh... Some of the animals aren't comfortable around wolves. So you wouldn't know, would you? We're all set. Bye, Mr. Wolf. Goodbye, TJ. Hey, Bigby! Where's your friend, Colin? Where's a fucking pig? How should I know? Oh, es tut mir so weh. Es tut mir so leid. Die haben doch das Geld gehabt. Hey. Hi. Hi. still wearing that thing. Oh. Yeah. I guess I am. It's not easy to forget. I know it seems like I should be able to. It's just. It's okay. I get it. Listen, I, I came here because I have to tell you something. Hmm. Ich bin schwanger von dir. It's about what happened to Faith and Lily. I'm not sure where to start. Das einfach alles raus. Faith. Lily and I, we had this plan. We were gonna find a way out. Leave the pudding and pie for good. But then, Faith decided to get some leverage. She stole a picture of Crane and Lily together. Okay. The minute Faith stole that photo, we had dirt on one of the crooked man's allies. If he found out, I... I had no choice. You have to understand. You've seen how they kept us quiet in that place. Can you imagine the lengths they go just to silence someone who had physical evidence? I had to. Narissa, just tell me what happened. I freaked out, okay? I thought if I came clean to Georgie, he'd get the crooked man to leave us alone. We could just forget the whole thing. Maybe try again in a few years. You what? So I told him everything. And I begged for mercy for all of us. I didn't want anyone to die over a picture. You were just trying to protect them. Yeah. Georgie promised he'd smooth things over with the crooked man. But then... Oh, God. <laughs> I don't know what happened. But that night at the club, Georgie came back and told me things had changed. He had to make an example of us. We had committed treason. And while the two of us were sitting there, as he was telling me this, Faith walked in. And I had to watch while Georgie... It was my fault. I sold them out. And she just... <laughs> and Lily? <sighs> That night, after Faith, I tried to warn Lily, but she wasn't with her scheduled appointment. So I did the only thing I could do. I... I left Faith's head... Oh. You? I walked her over here, and I left her, just hoping that maybe if I couldn't save them, could at least save the rest of us. So... That piece of fabric I found near there, that was you? Yeah, I cut my leg trying to get over the fence. So you, you started all this? I just pointed you in the right direction. People like us get forgotten all the time. The crooked man was counting on that. When we suffer, we do it in silence. And the world likes it that way. We just fade. Like we never existed. I couldn't watch that happen to Faith or Lily. Nobody cares about us. Not really. It's going to be different now. I promise. Things like that won't happen anymore. Not while I'm around. You'll make things right. You and Snow. I don't know. 
Seems like no matter what I do, it's just not enough for her or anyone. I just can't win with these people. I know it might feel that way, but they need you, Bigby. Both of you. You two make a good team. The way you look out for each other and look out for us. You don't see that a lot these days. I don't really know where we stand anymore. Things are just different. Huh. Things are always different. Look, Bigby. After everything you've done for us, maybe they don't want to admit it, but without you, none of this would have happened. You listened when no one else would. You protected your friends, no matter the cost. And you brought justice to this town. Finally. She would come to want this is so guy. <laughs> he would have just talked his way out of it like he always does. So from where I'm standing, you did the right thing. You've been given this job for a reason. And I left faith at your doorstep because I knew if anyone stood a chance against the crooked man, it was you. I hope I've at least done some good here. You've changed this place. For better or worse, Fable Town wouldn't be the same without you. Thank you schön for these netten Worte. Aber was hat sie jetzt vor? Wo will sie hin? You're not as bad as everyone says you are. Das hat Faith auch gesagt. I need to tell you something. I have to tell you something. I feel like we've met before. You're trying to place me. You like my ribbon? Do you like it? Faith wore one too. What hide her beauty so she could escape his kingdom? They used to call me the little bird. Dr. Swinehart ever get back to you about Faith? He said he wanted to run more tests. I hope you find what you're looking for. Irgendwas stimmt nicht. I'll see you around. Wolf. What the fuck? What the f what 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 the fuck? What the fuck? Im Prozess gewährst du und 32,3 Schüler haben den krummen Mann in der Gießerei getötet. Er wurde schon im Brunnen verlassen, du und seine sind bis zum Ende geblieben. Hast du TJ jetzt geschenkt, wirst du nur angenommen, du und 97,9% der Spieler. Wer hat das denn bitte schon nicht angenommen? Wie lautet deine letzten Worte an den letzter Du und 29%? Ich hoffe, dass ich ihr äh, etwas Gutes getan habe. Aber was um alles in der strunzdoofen Welt war das jetzt am Ende? Ich bin verwirrt. Du hast ihnen nicht gesagt, dass du äh, Bell vor der Wohnung gesehen hast. Du hast bla bla, okay. Dumb, tot. Faith, tot. Georgie, tot. TJ, tot. Unterwegs. Gibt's einfach noch einen zweiten Teil? Oh, Alter, das war das Abenteuer von The Wolf Among Us. Und, ähm, ja, ich hoffe, es hat euch genauso gut gefallen wie mir. Es ist wirklich ein mega geiles Erlebnis gewesen. Äh, ich weiß gar nicht, was ich dazu sagen soll, alles. Weil, ich habe alles schon so oft gesagt und, ähm, ich bin echt verwirrt jetzt über den, äh, über den letzten Scheißteil. Ich sehe auch gerade, dass mein Aufnahmeprogramm bei 1 Stunde 5 geendet hat. Meine Stimme ist bei 1, 1 Stunde 19. Das heißt, 15 Minuten fehlen. Mega gut. Das ist sehr schön. Und, ähm, wenn ich gleich dran denke, werde ich noch äh, den Rest hinten dran klopfen, was wir halt äh, neu dazu bekommen haben an ähm, Informationsblättern. Ich merke mich erstmal soweit hier fürs Zusehen. Wenn ich jetzt nicht, ähm, wenn ich merken sollte, dass es jetzt halt ähm, einen Schnitt gegeben hat, weil irgendwas fehlt, dann werde ich das auf jeden Fall nochmal nachreichen. Ansonsten, ja, bedanke ich mich, wie gesagt, fürs Zusehen. Wie immer, schreibt alles in die Kommentare. Ähm, spielt dieses Spiel auf jeden Fall selber. 
jedes Mal ist es halt anders, bei jedem spielt es sich anders, für jeden spielt es sich anders. Es ist wirklich mega cool, es hat mir riesen Fun gemacht. Ansonsten hoffe ich, sehen wir uns irgendwann mal online. Tschüss und ciao.